Hi, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and I'm bringing you an update on the new Apple announcements that happened yesterday. Steve Jobs took to the stage and introduced us to new MacBooks, new MacBook Pros, a revision to the MacBook Air and also some uh, really exciting news of a new cinema display. Now I'm going to be bringing you details of each of those new products now. Uh, I may well have to spread this over two videos, but certainly in this video I'll be covering the new MacBook and MacBook Pros. Now starting with the new MacBooks, uh, we have a newly designed MacBook, but also uh, one particular model remains the same. I'll cover that off first. The entry-level MacBook remains the old design, so the white gloss plastic casing that we've uh, come to know over the past year or so. It starts at £719 and you get a 2.1 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 120 GB hard drive, the 8 speed super drive for writing DVDs and CDs, as well as the normal AirPort 802.11m wireless network capability, uh, gigabit Ethernet and, um, uh, and Bluetooth built in and of course that iSight camera at the top of the screen. The exciting news is the two newly designed models of the MacBook. These are made of aluminium. The bottom part of the MacBook is actually uh, machined out of a solid block of aluminium. So it's very, very rigid and it has a black keyboard, but it is also backlit. So we've finally got the um, backlit keyboard that we've only had before on the MacBook Pro. So that's fantastic news. Now, common to both of the new models of MacBook is Bluetooth, 802.11m wireless, built-in iSight, gigabit Ethernet, and two USB 2 ports. They both also have the 13.3-inch screen and two gigabytes of RAM. They also both have this new multi-touch glass trackpad. No physical click buttons on the trackpad. Uh, the whole trackpad moves and becomes one big button and accepts multi-touch gestures depending on how many fingers you have placed on that trackpad. So fan absolutely fantastic news. I'm blown away by this announcement and it really, really does look like the design is spot on. Now there are two models of this new MacBook. For £949 you get a version with a 2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo 160 gigabyte hard drive and for £1,149 you get a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor and a 250 gigabyte hard drive. So absolutely fantastic, looks really does look the part and um, they're actually shipping now. Looking at in the UK it's quoting seven business days for dispatch so they're there, but they're obviously um, prioritising other countries maybe at the moment. They're also meant to be in the Apple stores as we speak. So if you do call your Apple store or head down to maybe one of the London Apple stores, you might be in luck and be able to pick one up. I should also add that if you're a little bit more patient and you wanted to customise your MacBook, you can add some options. And these include an upgrade to 4 gigabytes of RAM. If you're buying uh, that lower model, you can upgrade the hard drive to 250 gigabytes. If you're buying the top of the range model, then you can upgrade that to 320 gigabytes. Uh, you've also got 128 gig solid state drive option, and you can add some display adapter cables so that you can output the video from your MacBook onto a larger monitor. Uh, you can also add USB modem and Apple remote, which no longer comes in the box and things like an airline adapter and Apple Care. So there are some build-to-order options available as well. Now the MacBook Pro was also updated yesterday. Uh, just covering off the 17-inch version, this remains the same old design that we've been used to over the past few years. So there's not a lot of change there other than some up, maybe updated revisions to the specification. So I'm not going to deal with that within this video. The two new models are 15 inch MacBook Pros, they have a 15.4 inch widescreen, glass fronted again with the black bezel round so it looks like the MacBooks and also 
uh, is similar in design to what you would expect when you're looking at one of the current iMacs. So the whole range now matches in its design. It's also made out of the uh, machine solid aluminium base. Uh, both models um, come with NVIDIA 9400M integrated graphics, but they also have a second graphics card as well. So these things should really fly on the graphics front. Uh, £1,399 for the base model, which gets you that integrated graphics card, the 9400M, as well as the 9600M GT discrete graphics card from NVIDIA with 256 megabytes of GDDR3 video memory. You get 250 gigabytes hard drive space. You get the usual Bluetooth, 8-speed SuperDrive and AirPort card, uh, which gives you 802.11n wireless network capability. Two USB 2, two ports, the built-in iSight camera. You get one FireWire 800 port, so a slight change there. You get the Express Card 34 expansion slot. You get the new multi-touch glass touchpad, uh, sorry, trackpad in this new model as well. And um, this one, as I say, comes in at £1,399. If you add a bit of money, top of the range 15-inch model MacBook Pro is going to cost you £1,749. But what that gets you is a 2.53 GHz Core 2 Duo processor as opposed to the 2.4 GHz in the lower price model. And you also get 512 MB of GDDR3 video memory on that 9600M GT graphics card. A 320 GB hard drive as opposed to the 250 GB in the lower model. So you're gaining a little bit of speed, an extra or an extra two gigabytes of RAM as well. So that's uh, very worthwhile because it's maxed out in at four gigabytes. So it does offer a, a lot of difference, but uh, quite a price hike. So you're going to have to make your choice wisely there as to whether you need that extra little bit of speed and the extra video memory. Now my thoughts on these two new additions to Apple's lineup: the MacBook, absolutely fantastic. The design is really, really nice. Glossy screen with the glass front, no problem because we've been used to a, a glossy display on the MacBook from day one, so I don't see a problem there. The upgraded graphics capability, very, very welcome, and I think it's going to be a really, really big seller for Apple. The MacBook Pro, I've got my worries about this particular model. The new glossy display is uh, it's going to look nice. Uh, but the MacBook Pro, I think a lot of, of the users of the previous generation have been used to having that matte option. Now, is the gloss going to detract from their sales of the MacBook Pro? I think it will. I think people will still buy it because there are a lot of Apple fans out there. But I think that they have made a mistake by certainly not including an option for a matte display. I understand why they've done it, but I just don't agree with it. However, there will still be massive sales for this new MacBook Pro. The graphics capability sounds absolutely fantastic. Well, that's it for this update on these two particular models. There will be another video going up online, hopefully within the next hour or so, in which I'll cover off the uh, revisions to the MacBook Air as well as showing you that new cinema display which looks absolutely fantastic too. So come back soon and check out more of these news updates from geekanoids.co.uk